Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Just need to make sure it's catching, yeah. Plane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Hi. Coming. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So it doesn't, doesn't. Good people do not allow horse to drive. Yeah, just so I could go find a washroom. I probably also need to take this off my head. I wanted to start it first and see. Uh, It's disrespectful to put horses in the streets for human profit. There's another side. To that yeah. As well. Oh yeah, I like that too. <laughs> rides in their cities. This is very disrespectful. You are committing an offensive act right now by supporting this. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's very disrespectful and very selfish. It's a very self-centered act to put a horse in the street for human profit. It's not acceptable. Good people do not tolerate horse carriage rides in their cities. Do we follow them? We should follow them probably, eh? Oh, she's over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was right there. Oh, where did she go? Well, I, I saw you and you. Thank you for your support. Her. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's here. She didn't come. No, no, she did. She was t she was napping on the way here. <laughs> I know, lucky girl. Go.
Did you know that electric carriages exist? Did you know that pedal carriages exist? Isn't that amazing? We have all of these resources and solutions so that we can stop exploiting horses. It's so simple. We're not trying to bring people out of business. We're trying to help them transition with the times. We're trying to help them stop animal cruelty and exploitation. We're not trying to put anyone out of business. We're trying to help them transition towards what is right in 2020. Pedal carriages exist. Electric carriages exist. Why are we still paying for the suffering and exploitation of horses? Why? Why do we need... I don't want to scream while the horse is coming. And, I, and as you can see, I can really project. <laughs> You should really be ashamed of yourself. Why would you pay for further suffering? Why would you pay for further suffering? Look, with your companion who you call a pet, who you love and who you treat with respect, but then you exploit the other one. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? You guys really don't like horses that much. Maybe you should ride the Mennonite You cannot claim that you love animals. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Do not allow horse rides in their streets. Ooh, thanks for coming. For sure. Yeah. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic. Did you see that one guy in the car? He was trying to yell it, but you were like in your in your megaphone. I know I did on he purpose. Like, oh, I did on purpose. <laughs> just like I just kept talking so, so he couldn't yeah. say anything. <laughs> Oh, that must have pissed him yeah, so much. Head. He was like, I didn't get a word in <laughs> towards that woman. She kept talking yes. over me. I don't think he would have called your woman no, probably a girl. Or, yeah, yeah. Or something else. Well, yeah, but... Yeah. I can't even believe... Like, I can't fucking believe people are paying for this shit right I now. I can't believe it. Like, I cannot, like... It just, just, like, just watching them walk away after, after seeing and, like, if anything, like... Like, oh, making a connection yeah. and they still get into those fucking horse carriages? And like, how? The the sheer money, if you, you know, are frustrated or annoyed or irritated like, with us being here, all they want to do is come to Canada and have a horse carriage. If they go, we go. If they stay, we go. If they stay, we go. We go. We stay. If they go, we, we go. go. If they stay, we, we stay. stay. If they go, we, we go. go. If they stay, we, we stay. stay. If they go, we go. If they stay, we stay. If they go, we go. If they stay, we stay. If they go, we go. If they stay, we stay. We go, they stay, we stay. If they go, we go. If they stay, we stay. <laughs> Did you see that? He just splashed. I got him on gas. He just splashed his butt cheek. I was watching. Yeah. If it's pointing in the right direction. Please stop exploiting horses. Horses do not belong on the streets. Please transition towards pedal carriages, towards electric carriages. There are solutions. We do not need to continue to exploit animals, to exploit horses. If you say you love animals, then why are you contributing to their suffering and exploitation? They have a license, yes. Yeah. Why do they have a license? Because the town allows horse carriage rides in their streets. If they are very traditional, and they just think there's nothing wrong, but they just want horses to be like part of the aesthetic of the whole town. Not only is it disrespectful to have horses in traffic, it is also extremely dangerous. Not only for the horses themselves who we are here fighting for, yes. 
please join us for them. Like their support is great, but we need them to join us though. Like we need them to come and like be with us and like start taking action, not just applaud. You know what I mean? Like, like. Please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Horses do not belong in the streets. We have no right to exploit them that way. Animals are just like us, and they deserve better than this. Please help us fight against injustice. And this is just one of the many ways and forms that injustice takes place. You cannot claim to love animals and then put them to use for profit. You cannot claim to love animals and then pay for their exploitation. Please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Please help us fight injustice. We're not trying to put people out of business. There are solutions. There are pedal carriages. There are electric carriages. We have even offered our support to help them transition, to help with costs. So why are we still exploiting those horses? Please free the horses. Horses do not belong in the streets. They do not belong to be put to work by owners. If you love animals, you will not pay to contribute to this. You will join us for them. You will help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Please find it in your heart to join us for them and put an end to this exploitation. <laughs> Doesn't that look... Good thing you're about to get Don't you look amazing? <laughs> That's what horse-drawn carriage supporters look like. <laughs> They're unaware and fucking ignorant. Oh wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Definitely said it in my GoPro. <laughs> Please help us fight injustice and put an end to horse-drawn carriages. It is unnecessary in 2020. There are other solutions in order for you to go and take a beautiful ride around town. You don't have to support the exploitation of horses in order to have a carriage bringing you around town. There are pedal carriages. There are electric carriages. There are other ways. We have solutions for you. If you really want to be in a carriage, there are other ways to do it without exploiting horses. It is so simple. All we want is to end the exploitation and use of horses and all other animals for that matter. Right. But all I would ask that you think about is, is this in the best interest of the horse should the baby of the field be natural? That's what I'll do.
It is time for us to get with the times and ban horse-drawn carriages. And we will need your help for this. We have been trying to ban horse-drawn carriages for quite some time. Please, Niagara on the Lake, ban horse-drawn carriages. Free the horses. They do not belong in the streets being exploited and used for profit. Don't kid yourself. People are claiming that they love their horses and yet they're making money off of them? People that can't... Thank you! They can't handle the truth, that's not... That's what happens when you can't handle the truth. just named have already progressively banned horse-drawn carriages. Why do you think so? Because it is a cruel practice. Because it is exploiting another being for profit. So please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Help us free the horses. It is unnecessary for us to pay for horses to pull us through a town like Niagara on the Lake. You should be ashamed of yourselves for paying for this type of exploitation. Give me that food. Would you guys like a vegan and egg salad? Oh yeah. Oh, yes, I would. oh no, yeah. thank you. I'm still Ooh. dreaming of thank your so mom's chocolate. <laughs> oh, so this is someone we know. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I do not accept fucking vegan egg sandwiches from random people. <laughs> I'm way too afraid for that. Thank you. Please help us stand up against unjust laws. Help us ban horse-drawn carriages in Niagara on the Lakes just like so many other locations across the world that have progressively banned horse-drawn carriages. It is unnecessary to do so. There are pedal carriages and electric carriages. Why are we still exploiting horses? Why? Not sure if they're supporting us there, but I anyway, know, know. let's just make it that way. Look at how much.
much traffic and how many people are around here right now. These horses are forced to work within all of this. Imagine yourself being afraid to be near people around you. Well, those horses are a hundred times more afraid than that. And they don't belong in the streets. So please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. It has already been banned in so many other cities and location. This is unnecessary in 2020. We have other options, other solutions. People do not have to stop being in a carriage. They just need to switch over and transition to a pedal carriage or an electric carriage. Please join us for them. Join us to finally stop, put an end, and ban horse-drawn carriages once and for all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your support. Thank you. What did they say? What can I see right now? If you look through the camera right now, what am I looking at? Um, Do you see it, like Trevor over there? Yeah, well, it's like right dead on. Right okay, on you. and it yeah. gets a bit of the ground too, it right? Does, yep. And the church? And the church, uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. mistreated they're being put to work for money how is that not mistreatment they, oh they're getting breaks because I'm sure you know how they feel right are they're meant to work right they're just meant to work no exactly listen listen to yourself listen to yourself you know you know you know it makes no sense if I forced you, if I put you to work every freaking day and forced you to do what I say, what does that make you? A slave. That's what it makes you. To force these horses to work hours upon hours on pavement, which causes early lameness in their Man, shut the fuck up. You have no argument, idiot. You didn't even believe your own arguments. He was like, uh, uh, yeah. Fucking idiot. Um, so what do you understand from what you're seeing right now? It just seems like you're protesting the horse and carriage, but I don't understand like why it's cool. Like I just want to be enlightened. Okay, okay. So, so let me ask you a question. If you were that horse, okay, would you want people like us to be here to basically defend the fact that horses are not meant to first of all be on the streets on concrete? They're not meant to be put to work. They're not meant to be used and exploited for profit for the purpose of humans, right? So if you saw a horse in its, in its uh, natural habitat, mm -hmm. where would it be? In a field. <laughs> yeah, grazing and eating grass and just chilling, right? Like not being exploited, not being used for profit. The same way, for example, that we have companions, right? We have companions at home, we have dogs, we have cats. We have made 
we have bred these animals into existence and we've made them basically our house companions okay and because of that there's a huge problem right like there's tons of shelters all over the world animals are being euthanized every day on a daily basis because they're continuously being bred into existence right and we're doing the same thing with the horses but on top of just people adopting the horses or they're claiming that they've rescued these horses mm -hmm. And then they're using them. They're putting them to work, to pull carriages, to pull people. And what do they get in return? Money, mm -hmm. profit, right? When in 2020 now, like what we try to do is fight against speciesism. And speciesism is the belief of humans that we're better than other beings, okay? okay. And that so we could like support more than just Please like this cause. Way way like, more. Okay. The, the, one of the reasons Please why we're go. here today if and why we've been go. coming here more lately is because the people that own some of the, like the centennial carriages and stuff like that, they've come to our protests where one of our animal activist friends got run over by a truck and they came to our protest and she died, 65 year old activist, amazing woman. And she passed that way, right? And it's very sad. And who would think that people would have the balls to show up with a sign that says her name was Regan, Regan committed suicide. They even compared her to, to Jeffrey Epstein. They said Epstein didn't commit suicide, uh, didn't ki kill himself, but Regan Russell committed suicide. So, and those were the same people that owned the horse carriages. So because we're animal rights activists in general, and okay. we stand up against all yeah, injustice and all oppression, okay. um, when they did that, that showed us like, okay, like you are really wanting us to basically get involved with the type of exploitation that you're partaking in. And there was already a group here that was that had been protesting for a while yeah. and they basically called upon us and our groups and we just started joining forces a little bit more and starting to go a little bit harder for things that we really believe in that are not necessary anymore like so it's not are you guys all like vegan and stuff as well? yeah okay. yeah yeah but so again like you don't have to be vegan to come and show up and join us for them and to believe in the cause and you really don't right yeah, like it's i just think like personally like the whole spectrum animals, right? no the whole spectrum of course that's why it's very we ironic say. when people they tell go. us sorry we go it's very ironic when people tell us like oh well you should be fighting for this instead you should be fighting for this and it's like we fight for all of it though like we like against all injustice all oppression human rights and animal rights so you know black lives matter everything we're trying as much as we can to bring justice into the world to bring a little bit more compassion a little bit more peace and there's a lot of problems within our system so there's a lot of angles that we need to go forth and something like this is like the low-hanging fruits that like are just meant yeah. like they're they're just on their way out like when you have like progressive yeah. places like new york like all of the different locations in the world that are banning them then why are we still allowing this here like yeah. we have other solutions we're not trying to put them out of business we've offered them to help raise money to do gofundmes to help them switch to pedal we even went to uh, an electric bike shop to ask them how much it would cost to make their carriages into electric into pedal carriages oh which would be super like it's very yeah. affordable even it would cost them less than to own an actual horse and yeah. to then exploit it and yeah. to then make other people pay to exploit like it makes no sense right mm -hmm. oh, did right. i answer I your questions like, <laughs> no, I think just, like my concern when i saw like i don't think there's anything wrong with like protesting for what you believe in but like Thank you. i think it's like not fair to be like one note either like i think like you said like mm -hmm. you can't just like pick horses because they're cute and we like horses, horses and, like, no it's all of them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. are you so, vegan oh uh, no i'm not no oh, okay, okay. but like do you fight for any cause yeah I, I fight for causes i guess like which are the causes you believe like, in one that i believe in which one climate change. climate change i don't like personally i don't really believe in like not doing something because it's cruel to animals just because like oh my god sorry um, just because, like, I think, like, medications and stuff, like, I'm a scientist researcher. Mm -hmm. So I think it is really important to, like, like, you utilize animals. Like, obviously, it's unfortunate. I don't think anyone, like, loves doing it. But, like, everyone who takes Advil, like, supports that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I was diagnosed with MS in 2012, and I healed myself completely naturally without medication and by going vegan and living a very holistic lifestyle. Yeah. Um, I think that medications, a lot of those medications should not 
not exist, mm -hmm. that they're really just there as a crutch for people and they're looking and turning towards this magic solution that at the end of the day is just the plaster. Yeah. Um, and I think that if we can test it on animals, then we could also test it on humans. Because really what we're doing right now is a human trial, right? Mm -hmm. Like most but of the medications, let's be real, like even the vaccines and all of that, like all of that has just been tested on humans, do you, do you really. Think from a well, purely moral standpoint, there's a differentiation between humans and animals? Like, would you consider on a, like, as a value of an organism's life, do you draw a distinction between a mouse and a human, for instance? So, I always find it very interesting when people ask that question, because I wonder where in my life I would have to, so for example, every decision that I make, yeah. okay, is to try and cause the least harm as possible. Sure. So I am very much aware that just as a human in itself, we are parasites that pretty much destroys everything we put our hands on. So in order to myself stay alive, there are going to be inevitable consequences to certain things. So even myself eating only plants, for example, I'm very much aware that during the process of that, if it's industrial places, because the small organic farms that I go or volunteer at or do, there's no animals that are dying off of that. But from an industrial standpoint, like a lot of vegans are also contributing to certain harms, right? But the difference is the choices and decisions you're making. So if you're purposely deciding to contribute towards something you already know is death, then like you were already educated and you took that decision. But if you're, for example, buying plants that the same animals people eat, eat, right? Sure. Those yeah. animals eat those same plants, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I rather for myself, rather than eating those animals, um, I go straight to the source, which are the plants. So then I'm not taking, like if you really look at it and you want to start weighing the scale, right? I don't try to compare like, oh, this uh, pig is better than this mouse. I'm a human, therefore I'm better than all other species. Like, no, like I have three companions at home that are cats and they're all vegan. They're all super healthy. And because at the end of the day, it comes down to nutrients, right? I know pe people say, oh, they're carnivores, that's cruel, da, da. it's like, no, it comes down to nutrients, amino acids, like to make sure they actually get the proper nutrients, right? Yeah. Um, and they can live in my space the same way I live in my space. Mm -hmm. They're allowed to go on the counters, they're allowed to live on top, they're allowed to go on the table, they're allowed to do what the fuck they want to do. Do you really. let them like go free? I love them, yeah. And I actually like, one of them likes to go outside, the others don't care for it. I put them on a harness and we go outside, I take them for walks, yeah. like, uh, right but I still think that it's a problem that we've created companions as well like I think that we've created an entire system built off the exploitation of and use of animals and I can see in your point being a, a scientist or medical doctor how you would think that that was necessary to like and I get that like a lot of advancements in medicine yeah, I just think like they were more made because of Second World War Two. Let's let's be yeah. real, right? Like they were made. I think too, though, like I think that like personally, like I don't. I'm not trying to like sway your opinion because like I think you're strong in your belief. That's like great, but I I think that like there's certain things like if we knew we could cure our Alzheimer's disease, like <laughs> if you had a family member who had Alzheimer's disease, like you might feel a different way or like. I'm but I don't believe don't in anything. medication though. I don't believe in the pharmaceutical industry. Like, <laughs> Billion trillion dollar like, industry. I, I feel like it's not really... I don't know. I feel like it's not really fair to say that like holistic living can like cure all things though. But are like, we God though too? I don't like since God, when did like, we decide... Like, I think it's... Pharmaceuticals. Uh, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't think it, there's a big... Like I, I think it's just as much of a God complex to say that we've figured out that holistic medicine is the way to cure everything. Right? Oh, that's not what I think at all. I don't think that it's figured out a way, but I do know that we don't need to eat animals, we don't need to be testing on them, and we don't need to be exploiting them. So that goes to back to my question, which is why I asked. Yeah. If we don't need to test on animals, yeah. and we're going to take medication in some form, whether it's a holistic medication mm -hmm, or a mm -hmm. lab made or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be tested somehow to see if it works. Mm -hmm. People just ingest this stuff. Yep. You could out. do all sorts of case studies and, so, and trials. People will actually right, so be paid we, to do it. Of course, and we do, we do clinical trials yeah, on humans, exactly. but do you think it's like, that's that's my question, is like, is it just as bad to do a clinical trial where potentially a human dies, let's say, as it is to do a The human trial? has consent though. The human sure, can sure. actually get a reward from doing that. They could decide, oh look, I have this whole contract to sign, I decide this. Do you think it's just as exploitative to offer humans a financial incentive for a potentially dangerous practice that could kill them, as we do all over the world? To 
sweatshop. Well, I mean, I've paid to go parachute jumping. I've paid to do bungee jumping. I've paid to do very dangerous things that I knew my life could potentially be taken or I could. So if you have that consensual, like, um, how can I say that logical reasoning that you can make a decision, right? Yeah. And you can say, no, I don't want to do it. Like I've seen tons of those medical uh, drugs and all that stuff in trials and I've never decided to opt to do it. I know someone who has done like 20 of them. And do so, I think he's a little fucked up? So here's a scenario. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I just feel like that's... <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, here's a scenario, like, if, if animal it's testing is done away with and we're just relying on consensual humans... Actually, no, subjects. though, let me tell you something, and you know this, too, is we are so much ahead in technology right now that they figured out a way how to just use the actual cells and the tissues in labs, right? You don't right. need a full animal, a full live a full, animal. You still need a full human. I actually disagree with that. Yeah. Like, be, coming from, like, I actually am in pharmaceutical sciences, and, like, there's, a, like, a difference between, like, ex vivo testing and in vivo testing, mm -hmm. and, like, the problem is, like, our science isn't good enough to, like, accurately replicate an in vivo, like, system. So, Do you like, think the science that you have access to, though? No, like, no, I am, on, like, on the cutting edge exactly. of my field, like, I, I go to, like, a prestigious university, like, I, I'm around experts in my field every day, like, I do research But, like, the 1% of the population, like, the people who are actually controlling everything and who have access to those high, crazy-ass technologies, do you think that they're not there yet? Well, yes. the thing is, like, cells, you can't, like, Yes, you don't think? Or you yes, do think? Yes, they are not there yet. Yeah, they oh, are interesting. Not there yet. Yeah. Like, interesting. because, okay, what you're explaining is, like, an ex vivo model of a cell, right? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. like, Usually you take a cell, like, let's just say, I study astroglial cells, which are, like, neurons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, are like yeah. A, supporting neurons. Yeah, supporting yeah, nipping. yeah. You can create, like, a model of, like, in a cell, like, a Petri dish, mm -hmm. of, like, an astrocyte. But, like, yeah. you need an animal to get that astrocyte from, or that cell from. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no way to create a cell that isn't... There. So let like me you ask you, if you take that brain. cell from the animal, so like right now you're not, you're going to tell me that there isn't like a huge um, database of those cells that have already been extracted and taken from animals, like freezers that are filled with those already taken cells from animals? Like, no, because like you need a live cell, like, you, like, they don't live that's forever. the thing is like you, you inherently like need an animal, like, so say you're saying like there is a database of cells, sure, like, you might have some cells in a freezer, but like you can never do the amount of testing like or you might have all these people do without like an incoming amount of like cells. You or know? you have, like, and you're have... talking just for a medical perspective. You're talking. Yeah, I'm talking like just purely like pharmacolo pharmacological sciences, like that in general. Like obviously, there's people who do pharmacological sciences without using animals. Like people do MRI studies, or like mm -hmm. if it's a drug that's already invented, like. You know, you can take the drug, give it to a human, test it, you know it's safe. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you're starting from the beginning, like, for depression, for example, like, we don't have a great, like, scientific consensus on depression. So like, inherently we need to do that research somewhere else. Like, you could, like, take brain cells of humans, for example, that, like, have died from, like, suicide or whatever, like, mm -hmm. from depression. You can analyze their cells, like, the differences between, like, that's how an experiment starts, right? Like, mm -hmm. You can analyze the difference between, like, a healthy human, and a dead human cells, yeah. you yeah. have a difference, yeah. then you need to like replicate that model somewhere else mm -hmm. in order to like adjust it. Like, mm -hmm. So you give a, an animal a drug, they react a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not saying I do that, I'm just saying like that's just like one form. But would you agree that we would try to find ways that we don't need to do that? Yeah, and I think and we that we do. So, so, yeah, so. And exactly, so yeah. to my point to that yeah. is just this is what we do. Like, yeah. we're just trying as much as possible to find ways and solutions so that we stop exploiting animals. Yeah. And this is one form that is already outdated, that we could already, like, address and get rid of that worldwide. Do you know what I mean? Like, we just don't need it. And humans actually need more exercise. Like, pedal carriers, would carriages would be amazing. Like, it would do everyone a health benefit, 100%. So right? I, I happen to agree with you completely on the horses. Like, it's, it's just a, you know... Just get rid of it. Like, thing. Yeah, sure. But, like, there's no need for the horses, obviously, but in general, there are many situations in which animals end up being exploited for, so that humans cannot be exploited. And again, so that humums can benefit. No, so that, they, so that humans cannot be exploited. And I'll br again bring the example of the, the drug testing. 
and you can foresee a situation in which we do away with animal testing and we just have consensual humans that get paid for this where again pharmaceutical companies or research labs or whatever mm -hmm. prey on people who need the money yeah put them in a dangerous situation I, you're right because like i don't that think that that's necessarily world. right either because we do right. do that like you said the sweatshop like like yeah. all of those same thing for the kids same thing and again like my honestly my every day is to raise awareness towards all of those things like i'm not preferring one thing over another i for myself human rights and animal rights are really important and it's from all aspects right is it's trying as much as possible to improve our ways what we're doing today and there are many many ways that we could already be doing that but there are industries out there that are making a lot of money that don't want to change and we're just trying to bring change so i agree with you who you feel maybe a bit fearful because you're like you know this is my career like we do certain things here we don't want that taken away from us like i, I get it but i'm I sure that I, I, don't I don't think that's true like i think that like scientists like I, I don't work with animals but like scientists that do that i know personally that do work with animals like they like there's like it's not just like you decide to use an animal you kill an animal again it's like you like have to go through a process of like picking like a lower classified animal like for example like there is a difference between like a mouse and a horse for example like just like brain wise and like how much the animal can feel and like mm -hmm. think and like mm -hmm. act but you do agree that both feel regardless yeah of yeah. course yeah like they both have like a hippocampus they both yeah. have like lower level like brain regions that can mm -hmm. like allow them to feel or whatever like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i guess it's like you know they might not have like emotional like and they might not be able to speak our language and communicate in this way yeah. but they still feel the pain they still feel distressed they're still having instincts that are like <gasps> and do you know what i mean like it's still a response the same type of responses that we would have right i think it's like i think it's fair to like try your best to like limit your use and stuff i just think as of right now personally i think it's like impossible to limit animals use altogether like it's impossible and i think that i think that you're i think it's inevitable I yeah. think that right now there might not be all of the solutions there yet yeah, that course. could be put in place but I think that inevitably we are going to move in that direction because they say and I think that's such a powerful quote it's like like you will know a society or a group of people b by looking at how they treat their animals and it's really true like at the end of the day if we're able to all live in harmony to not use animals to not exploit them but if anything to find a way to live in harmony with them right like say for example like this is maybe not necessarily vegan to me for me to say but when i have my sanctuary and i have everything if there happens to be a beehive on my property and one of my uh, companions gets hurt i know as a holistic nutritionist that honey has amazing antimicrobial and and bacterial properties and whatnot and i might actually use some of it to help this creature right but it's like i'm not like basing all of my life off uh exploiting the bees to take their honey selling it to other people then uh you know paying setting up these animals in like a zoo like location where people pay to just look at them or do you know what i mean it's like it's just knowing how to progressively start to take actions and, and make changes that benefit everyone yeah like that benefit everyone maybe in your area right now we're not there yet but in other areas we are yeah that's fair and I so think it's like good to you that like you're knowledgeable about it like i think i think too like some people who judge like what you guys are doing like see you talking about the horses and like there's all these restaurants that serve meat and like that's a much bigger like industry right but like yeah. I and totally we agree that, like, every day we're on that trust me <laughs> I, like, I think it's good that you're like knowledgeable and like you're not just like it's i obviously you have to have a cause that you're, you can't do everything at once but, yes like, no, but you try as much as possible, right? And yeah. and what really counts? Ride the carriages while you pick up. <laughs> you, I think that it's fucked up. Yeah. Like as if you decide to get into that. Like you're hearing, you're understanding that. Like as if. I know. It's so sad. Honestly, that makes me so sad. Like why? Why? Right? Well, thank you for talking. You can. Yeah. No, no. I think. 
honestly, it's having conversations like this where people can start humanizing each other. We're not like extraterrestrials. Like, there, we're, you know, it's what makes me really sad sometimes is it's like, stop for a second and ask yourself, why are these, you know, take two seconds, come and ask, like, what's happening here? And try to understand someone's point of view, right? Like, yes, we're loud. Yes, we're trying to make like a, a clear message, right? But it's because we've tried it kindly many times before and it's not working. So sometimes you have to take more extreme measures towards unjust laws. I don't think this is extreme. I think it's like the right amount of Were you guys there like a few weeks back though? I have never seen that in my life. We literally were about a hundred activists and there was about a hundred counter protesters. And they were like we were here paying respect to our friend Regan who had who's been hit by the trucks and we her husband was here, her son, nephew, like and they were all talking on stage while people were screaming at them while we were trying to pay respects. Same thing when we took a two minute of silence. They all started screaming, go home, go home. Like it was so like barbaric. It was like, whoa, are we in 2020 right now? Like what is happening? Like people come and yell at you guys from like two meters away. It's like if you wanna like Argue, I feel like you guys are open to discussion. A hundred percent. We are all open to discussion. And that's all we want, really. It's just half the time people are not open to that, right? Yeah. Well, thank you guys for stopping. And I really hope, you know... You what organization are you with? Um, I'm with a variety of organizations, but if you want, you should follow me on Facebook if you guys have social media. Yeah, sure. It's Michelle Labras, and we share a lot of this stuff. And it'd be great, like, I mean, again, like I said, it's not, it'd be great to have numbers, to have people show up and join us, because at the end of the day, a lot of us do believe in similar contexts. Like, we do believe that there are unjust laws, we do believe that there is oppression happening in many different areas, and it's just key that people start standing up together even if there's some things that we agree to disagree on right thank you cool awesome what's your name sorry sierra sierra yeah. nice to meet you and you colin colin yeah. nice to meet you sierra and colin have an awesome day and it's time for niagara on the lake to join municipalities worldwide in banning horse carriage rides Woo! how you doing good you excellent <laughs> i love how uh Passionate you are. Oh, I get pretty fired up here. That's I know. Sure. Do you want to use mine? Because it's really fucking One loud. Day, sure. <laughs> Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their <clears throat> cities. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic for profit. Please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. It is so unnecessary to continue these practices in 2020. These animals do not belong on the streets. Please join us for them. Join us so that we finally put an end to horse-drawn carriages. It is so obvious that these horses are being exploited. They do not belong on the streets. Please join us for them. Help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Niagara on the Lakes needs to get with the times. Oh, thank you. I was like, oh my Good God, job. someone Good like job. who kind of looks like an officer is walking towards me, yeah, really. Like <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you look like a fucking boss. I was like, whoa, this person's like coming right towards me. A lot of people me. actually think I look like a cop. That's what, I at know. first, that's what oh, I thought. Nice. Oh, nice. oh, I love yeah, it. it that's gorgeous. Wow. Yes. Oh. Do you mind if I do That's a sick ass freaking yeah, shirt. I love it. <laughs> we have all the resources necessary not to continue exploiting horses. Please help join us for them. Let's put an end to horse drawn carriages in Niagara on the lake. <clears throat> Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their cities. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic. It's time for Niagara on the Lake to join cities worldwide in banning horse carriage rides. Cities all over the world have already made the positive change to ban horse-drawn carriages and to stop exploiting horses. 
Thank you for your support. Woo! Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic. It's time for Niagara on the Lake to join <coughs> cities worldwide in banning horse carriage rides. I keep hearing things like, but these horses are being well treated. But what does that mean? If they were being well treated, why are they, be are they being put to work for money, for profit? If your dog is being well treated, do you make your dog work for you and pull other people in the sun, in the middle of the streets of Niagara on the lakes? If you love animals, you don't pay to exploit them. If you love animals, you don't exploit them. It's pretty freaking simple. Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic and it's time for Niagara on the Lake to join progressive cities worldwide in banning horse carriage rides. <laughs> I like the frizziness. You can also drink some water. I brought tons. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're too funny. I'm going to. <laughs> I brought some for David. I brought some for Sabrina. I left three bottles over there. I'm like, you guys are not buying plastic bottles. <laughs> do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic. And it's time for Niagara on the Lake to join cities worldwide and ban horse carriage rides. It's, it's 2020? It's 2020! Not 1820! It's 2020! Not 1820! It's 2020! Not 1820! Thank you so much for your support! Look at these good people! Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets! Thank you so much for your support! Please join us for them. Yeah, <laughs> Always push a little farther, for sure. <laughs> when I talk through this thing, it fucking. Phew. Do you hear that? It's crazy. Are you guys going? Yeah, I was gonna walk down the street and then head out. Okay, okay. A long way back. You were so powerful. Aw, thank you guys. Like, oh, <laughs> all the way. We don't have that. <laughs> You're going. Ciao. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, likewise. Have an awesome walk and yes. an awesome, a safe drive back. Yes, thanks for Bye, you guys. See you soon. <clears throat> Please help us put an end to animal exploitation, to horse exploitation. Help us free those horses. They have progressively and positively banned horse-drawn carriages in so many other locations and cities across the world. Let's make 
Niagara on the Lake get to the Times and also ban horse-drawn carriages because you cannot claim to love animals or to love horses and to then pay to contribute to their suffering. You cannot claim that you love animals and you're taking care of them, but then put them to use and put them to, to work for money. Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Get a sign. I think I'm gonna grab a sign. You, you recorded yourself, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Because I didn't really like that much of the recording. <laughs> Don't worry. I did record the young lady recording me though for some reason. <laughs> there was someone recording you? There was a stare down. We had a stare down. <laughs> I think I won. Hopefully it changed in life. I had somewhat of a good conversation with a couple. Oh yeah? That was a long conversation. Yeah, they actually worked for the pharmaceutical industry and she was like, but we need animals for testing. Anyway, we went on, on a whole because she was like, but what about the other causes? And I'm like, oh, exactly. We actually stand for, up for every cause. And I said, what causes do you stand up for? Yeah. And then we started, That's so, a good so always, I will always throw that back into their face. So you're telling me where and what I should do? What do you do? What do you do? Exactly. And if you don't fucking have an answer to that, then exactly. shut the fuck up. Well, that's what the guy said to me too. Are you a bat? Are you a bat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So they're all gone. They're literally all yeah. being paid they, they, to be yeah. rid. No, no, no. I think they're maybe gone for the day. They might oh. be gone for the day, but they also, maybe they had an appointment to pick somebody up somewhere or whatever. Oh. Please join us for them. Join us in stopping the exploitation of horses. Horses do not belong on the streets. Animals deserve better than this. Animals are just like us. We should not be paying for their exploitation, nor should we be exploiting them. Please help, help us, join us for them, help us Make Niagara on the Lake ban horse-drawn carriages. So many other cities across the world have already banned horse-drawn carriages. Why do you think? Because it's dangerous and it's a cruel practice. It's an old, outdated practice that involves the exploitation and suffering of horses. So please join us. Help us put a stop to horse-drawn carriages. Help us ban horse-drawn carriages. We are in 2020. Not 1820. We are in 2020. Not 1820. We are in 2020. Not 1820. Please, Niagara on the Lakes, get with the times. We need to ban horse-drawn carriages. This is unnecessary, and we have other solutions. We have pedal carriages. We have electric carriages. We have even offered them to help transition. We're not trying to put people out of business. We're trying to help them get with the times. We're trying to help them stop exploiting horses. Instead, they can help people improve their health with pedal carriages. 
They can help people use other ways like electric carriages. We do not need to continue exploiting horses for profit. Please help us, join us for them. These horses deserve better than this. These horses are just like us. What if you were a horse and you were forced to work day in and day out so that your owner could make money off your back? Wouldn't you want us to be here for you? to put people out of business. If these horses here continue to be enslaved, we will stay. But if these horse-drawn carriages, if these horses are finally freed, we will go. Because this is 2020. We do not need to continue exploiting animals for our benefit. We do not need to continue enslaving horses for our benefit for our entertainment what is this please get with the times it is 2020 it is time to ban horse-drawn carriages and switch over to pedal carriages switch over to electric carriages please help us join us for them we can stop this but we can only do this together Help us, just as so many other cities around the world have already banned horse-drawn carriages. It is time to get with the times. It is time to further stop animal exploitation. We need to put an end to this. We need to fight against unjust laws. And having those horses on the streets being put to work for profit and for entertainment or transport? What is that? We have pedal carriages. 
We have electric carriages. We even have legs to walk. Please help us ban horse-drawn carriages. Niagara on the lakes, get with the times. Let's put an end to animal exploitation. Let's put an end to using those horses for money, for transport or entertainment. This is unnecessary. Please join us. Join us to put an end against injustices, to put an end against the exploitation of the horses here in Niagara-on-the-Lakes. Good people do not allow horse carriage rides in their streets. It's disrespectful to put horses in traffic for profit. And it's time for Niagara and the Lake to join cities worldwide and finally ban the horse carriage rides. Thank you. Istanbul, Turkey. Melbourne, Australia. Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Mumbai, India. Guadalajara, Mexico. Izmir, Turkey. Barcelona, Spain. Royal Palace of Caserta, Italy. Salt Lake City, Utah, and the following cities in Florida, Miami Beach, Florida, Treasure Island, Florida, Kenneth City, Florida, Key West, Florida, Deerfield Beach, Florida, Palm Beach, Florida, Beach, Florida, Pompano Beach, Florida, and many, many others. Again, if Florida has been able to ban horse carriages, it is beyond time that we do as well. Please make the right choice, Niagara on the Lake. Ban horse carriages. We like Florida. The year is 2020, not 1820. Time to ban the horse carriage rides. Stop exploiting horses. Switch to electric carriages. 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 Horses. Switch to electric carriages. Stop exploiting 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 horses. Switch to electric carriages.
Scarecrow! No one's as lazy as a white man! <laughs> <laughs> Good people do not want to be in that street. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love how you just got all up, all up on his case like, I'm going to get this motherfucker. <laughs> Tell him how it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably you can choose. The horse cannot refuse. 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 You can choose. The horse cannot refuse.